All right, what's going on everybody? This is Sophie. Sophie is a young gun dog here in our program. Um, and we're gonna do the inline marking drill. This is a little above her pay grade, so I'm hoping it shows what a dog may or may not do. Um, but first, before we get into it, please do me a favor, click subscribe. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, you can go pound some salt. <laughs> All right, so first off, we've got bl holding blinds in a line through my field. You can use white stickmen. You can not have holding blinds. I just like to use holding blinds or stickmen. Uh, I think it adds more difficulty. Um, there's two ways to run this. The first way is the way I like to run it most often. It's four marks. One mark goes this way. Your bird thrower goes to the next holding blind, throws one this way. Goes to the next holding blind, throws one this way, last holding blind, thrown that way. And basically the idea is the dog has to run through or under the arc of like bird one and bird three are both thrown the same way. And so bird one's here, bird two, uh, three is here and they gotta run through the arc. And then as they go deeper, they're running past those holding blinds. And so it sucks them in, it gets them all a little bit confused, and it really builds depth perception on where that bird fell. So we don't do this drill, but maybe once a month. Um, same with like our Y drill or some of our other drills that we do. But this is a great, great drill. Um, so let's get into it. Here, girl. Sit. Sophie's jack beyond belief. Sit. Sophie, so first bird is thrown right to left. Good, now Jill's gonna drive off. Now everybody asks how far our marks are. For this one, our first mark is probably 50 or 60 yards away. Our second mark is about 40 yards deeper. Third mark, 40 yards deeper to that one. 40 yards deeper is the fourth bird. Sit, good, here, sit, good. So this one's gonna be thrown the opposite direction. Sit. And I started to say that there's two ways to run this drill. Sit. Sophie. So the first way is one here, one there, one here, one there, right? The second way would be like a mom and pop or flower pot. So out of your first, good girl, out of your first holding blind, one will go here, dog will go and get it. One will go here, dog will go and get it. Go to the next holding blind. Here, here. Go to the next holding blind. Here, here. Go to the next holding blind. So they didn't initially, with mine, they're picking up four. With the other one, they'd be picking up eight birds. Okay? Here. Hi, girl. Sit. You're doing good so far. Now, this is where the rubber meets the road, though. This is where she's got to go under the arc of the bird number one. Sit. Sit. Good. Sophie, and also with this mark, or this kind of setup, I've got all my hay bales. So when you look at that aerial photo, we've got hay bales scattered throughout our field, and that creates obstacles for the dogs to run past. So I wanted this throw outside that hay bale. She's about to wind it here. Get in there, girl. Booyah. a girl, good. Um, so that mark, you know, they've got to run to the left of that hay bale and under the arc of mark number one. For the birds that are getting thrown left to right, they've got a pinch in between a hay bale and our holding blinds to hold their line. So kind of a cool little marking setup. You can do this anywhere. Atta baby, here. Set. Good, right there. Sophie little dog run. Cool little drill. Um, another way you could maybe add some difficulty to this would be using orange bumpers. Um, oh, she got hung up in that old fall. Dig out there, girl. So that's what I want to see. Now, let's see if she corrects herself. All right, she's digging out there. Jill, can you take a step, please? Hey, hey. around the right side of the gun. Good. 
So that would be a young dog error, which is cool for you guys to witness. Um, got hung up in the old fall. Jill, you know what? For video's sake, let's rethrow that mark and see if she learned her lesson. I don't typically rethrow marks, but this would be a. a All right, that works. So this would be one of those ways to teach her, you know, don't worry about that old fall, drive through it, go to where the bird fell, pin pr pinpoint precision on her mark. We're gonna rethrow this mark to try and teach Sophie that depth perception and to drive through that old fall and to not get fumbled up by the different layers of holding blinds out there. Sit, sit good. Sophie. Hey, stay off the four wheeler so that you can step out if I need you. So I need my bird thrower to be ready to aid the dog. All right, she just ran through the old fall and is holding her line. Boom. Hey, there you go. So I think we just taught her a little something, something about running through an old fall. So great marking drill for you and your dog and your training buddies to work on depth perception, pinpoint marking, you can use ducks, you can use orange bumpers. For a younger dog, you can use white bumpers or ducks. Um, but this is a great little drill that I hope you enjoyed. Again, if you could do me a solid, click thumbs up, click subscribe. If you like learning from me, we got patreon.com forward slash Lone Duck Outfitters. It's a community of guys and gals like me and you that like training dogs. Um, cool tips, some unknown videos that don't hit YouTube, as well as early releases. And then every other week, we hit up a happy hour on Zoom and you can have a beer with me and talk dog training and I'll answer any question you got. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode.